So we will look at this question, shuffle the array. Uh, and the question is given the array nums consisting of two n elements in the form x1, x2, xn, y1, y2, yn. Return the array in the form x1, y1, x2, y2, xn, yn. And here we have an example where we have the nums list that is 2, 5, 1, 3, 4, 7, and n is equal to 3. So what we are essentially doing is that we are alternating between elements. So since n is equal to 3, what we would be doing is we would use this as a pivot um, or, as, or as an alternating uh, point. So this will be the first half and then this will be the second half and we will alternate between the elements. So we will have 2, 3, which is this, and then we will have uh, 5, 4, which is this, and then we will have 1 and 7, which is this. And here we have another example where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 3, 2, 1, and then is equal to 4. And uh, again, we will do 1, 4, which is this, and then 2, 3, which are these two, and then 3, 2, uh, 3 and 2, which are these, and then 4 and 1, which are these. And the last example is 1, 1 and 2, 2, and n is equal to 2. So we would have the first two elements. So this will be the first half, and we will alternate these with the second half. So we will have 1, 2, which are these, and then 1, 2, which are these. And looking at these examples, seems like n is always the half of the length of the number of elements. Uh, but I guess uh, this this probably would be a good question to clarify on, on the interview that if, if that is the case or not. Uh, so here what we will do is we will initialize and declare g and we will set that equal to n. And uh, because i will increment these and then j will increment these, uh, we will traverse through and get these elements through j. And then we will do for i in range and then we will have n because we want to go up to as many elements uh, to the nth number. And then we will have our output. That would be the list. And here we will do output dot append. And then we will do nums i. And then we will do output dot append. And we will do nums and j. And then we will just do j equals j plus 1. And like I said earlier, that we are keeping track of the first half and the second half. Uh, and first half, we are keeping track of that by using i. And j would be keeping track of the second half. And when we have i and j like this back to back, what would happen is it would alternate between the first half and the second half, uh, which would give us the shuffled array. And then we will just return the output. Okay, so space for so for space and time complexity for we, we are looking at O and for space complexity because we are um, appending or inserting as many elements as we have in the nums list. And in terms of time complexity, we are also looking at O n, even though the for loop would only go through half uh, as many. So, for example, if we have ten elements in the nums list, we would only be traversing through this for loop five times, uh, five times, but we would still call it O n. Uh, 